What's up, y'all? I'm Marlon, man. What's going on? Hey, y'all. Uh, I know I got to apologize. I'm sorry I'm extra, extra late because I watched this shit live, man. I watched this fight live, and it was a hell of a fight. I watched it Saturday night, man, and I recorded it. So, basically, man, every fight that's on pay-per-view, man, I buy all them motherfuckers. I ain't no cheap-ass boxing fan. I, I buy all the pay-per-views and record them to make sure I watch them busy. Watch the whole $60 out the motherfuckers. I watch, I'm going to watch it again probably tonight or one of these days this week. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to watch it again. But look, man, it was a great fight, man. Uh. But I can't lie, man. Wilder had me nervous a lot of times in that fight. Like, like my motherfucking stomach dropped a lot of times. But uh, Wilder, man, proved to me, he proved that he always got the better chin and the more, and he got more power than all his opponents. Ain't that some crazy shit? He got he got a better chin. And he got more power than his opponents. See, Luis Ortiz had a good game plan, man. He had a good game plan. And he was act that left hand was active from Luis Ortiz. He was throwing that shit to the body. He was throwing it up top. He was throwing it around. He was mixing it up. And Wilder um wasn't exchanging with him. He he wasn't exchanging with him that much. The most wilder pretty much a do would be throwing his left hook. He'll just be hooking. Just to keep Luis Ortiz, you know what I'm saying, at bay. He'll be he'll just hook with Luis Ortiz. He wasn't throwing straight punches because he didn't want to get countered and caught. Which was smart from Wilder. You know what I'm saying? Wilder proved, like I said, he got a grade A chin. He proved once again, that all he need is two seconds, and you need to be perfect for twelve rounds. That whole little statement is perfect for Wilder, man. You need to be perfect for twelve rounds, and all he need to do is be perfect for two seconds. That's perfect for Wilder, y'all. That that statement is proof is a hundred percent correct. But uh, so I'm just chilling, man. Bored as hell, man. I'm like, man, let me do this damn video, man. Get this shit out, man. I'm tripping. I'm extra late. My bad, y'all. But uh, I'm just bored as hell. I'm like, man, I need to do some damn videos. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. But uh, what else? What else can I talk about, man? We gotta talk about the strength and conditioning, coach. We gotta we gotta talk about the strength and conditioning from Luis Ortiz. Um, we gotta talk about that because it was a big deal. Before the fight, it was all in all the PBC fight camps and shit like that. Larry Wade, Sean Porter coach. But what, like I said, I seen some pluses and I seen some minuses from it. Um, like the same thing with Sean Porter, right? Think about this. When Sean Porter fought Earl Spence, Sean Porter was the one that got tired before Earl Spence. Am I right or wrong? He was the one that got tired. He got tired around the seventh round. Sean Porter did, but he was he was good. Uh, um, the first half of the fight, you know, what I'm saying he was doing a lot of darting in and shit like that. It seemed like Luis Ortiz kind of tried to copy and paste some of that shit that Sean was doing. It almost looked similar to me, but <clears throat> Wilder proved that his strength and conditioning was better than his. You feel me? His strength and conditioning was better than Luis Ortiz's strength and conditioning because he never got tired. Never got tired, and his power lasted the whole fight as usual. And and um, one of the things I noticed was, like I said, Wilder wasn't committing to no straight punches because he didn't want to get countered and caught with no shit from Luis Ortiz. Like, I was getting nervous. Like, damn, Wilder picked because Wilder... When when Luis Ortiz would dart in on Wilder, Wilder would pretty much just lean back. He wasn't picking up his feet to get all the way out of the way. I wanted him to get all the way out of the way because I didn't want him to get caught with nothing stupid. But wow, like I said, the punches that Wilder did get caught with, um, 
didn't seem to have that much effect, which proves that he got a great chin and his his knees never buckled or no shit like that. He was pretty. He was just good. Um, what else happened, man? What else happened? I'm gonna watch the fight again this probably this weekend or this week sometime, maybe even tonight. Like I said, I'll be watching when I be recording these fights. I just watched Earl Smith versus Sean Porter yesterday too, and over the weekend. So. I, when I be ordering these motherfucking fights, man, I be recording them and I be watching the shit out of them. But yeah, man, it was a great fight, man. Wild approved, man. He the best heavyweight in the world to me. I don't even think it's a, really a question, to be honest. But one thing I can give Luis Ortiz credit for, he fought a great fight, man, up until he got knocked out. And then the crazy thing about the knockout was Wilder never... That wasn't the hardest Wilder can punch, man. <laughs> that wasn't even the what the hardest right hand. That wasn't a Dominic Brazil. That wasn't a punch he hit Dominic Brazil with or Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't that type the right hand. That was he. It was like he shot that from the chest. It was like a quick, look, quick shot. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a, a one of them load ups that he be doing. It was just a quick shot. And he caught it right on the motherfucking forehead. Hit that nigga in the forehead. And then fell back. And didn't know what the hell hit him. It's like he hit him with an RPG or some shit. I said, damn. Hit the nigga hard as hell. You know what I'm saying? Sweat. Hella sweat flew. That nigga whole jerry curl flew off his motherfucking head. I said, damn. He hit his ass hella hard. But Lord Louis Ortiz sat his ass right down. I thought. Maybe the referee could have let his ass back up because I wanted to see him get hit some more. I'm like, shit, let this little motherfucker, let this old motherfucker back up and let's see why to hit his ass with some more shit. Because I knew that wasn't the hardest punch Wilder could hit him with. He just hit him. See, Louis Ortiz started following Wilder after a while. He got tired. He got tired of working like he was them first few rounds and he started following him. And Wilder was just on the back foot. And Wilder turned, turned his ass off and when he turned off the ropes and, and, and Luis Ortiz was following him. And he just quick shot the right hand. Just quick. He, I'm telling you, it wasn't one of them load ups like that. He just shot that motherfucker like from the chest or the hip. And he caught Luis Ortiz right on the motherfucking forehead, bro. Man, Wilder hit so motherfucking hard, bro. That shit don't even make no sense. That shit crazy, man. But like I said, man, what else can I say? It was a great fight, bro. Uh, um, it kept, I know one of the things that kept popping up on the TV was uh, PBC did a good job at letting the fans know, or whoever was watching, they did a good job at, at like showing them, because they show all the uh, knockouts, all the former heavyweights had, like Mike Tyson, George Farmer. They were showing everybody percentages. And Wilder had the highest percentage, bro. So Wilder might be the hardest puncher in heavyweight history. He, I mean, that might be a straight fact, bro. They did a good job at letting, you know what I'm saying, showing the statistics the whole time. I kept seeing it pop up on the screen. But uh, <clears throat> I'm like, damn, this motherfucker, um, he tied Muhammad Ali with the most 10, I think like 10 consecutive uh, defenses. Um, his title defenses, or his belt, the WBC belt, yeah, he did a good job of just showing, like, keeping, like, for instance, if casual fans, because we, y'all know we know this shit, because we hardcore fans, and we know how to look this shit up, we know all this shit, but they did a good job of showing, like, in case a lot of casuals was watching, and, you know what I'm saying, letting them know what's going on, but, uh, what else, man? <clears throat> I said, I had to replay that uh, knockout a couple of times. I said, damn, that wasn't even the hardest he can hit. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even put a lot into it. He just shot it. He seen the opening, and he threw the and he threw the right hand. Wilder seen the opening, threw the right hand. He turned off the rope. Luis Ortiz had like a fucking relapse or something. Like, he was just tired, bro. He was tired, and he was just following him. He was following him, and he got popped right on his motherfucking forehead. But uh, I'll tell you one thing, though, about Luis Ortiz. Ain't nobody else beating him, bro. 
I don't, I don't think nobody else can beat Luis Ortiz. Y'all can let me know what y'all think, but just my opinion, I don't think nobody else can beat Luis Ortiz because I know Adam Kawanaki, man. A pretty good fighter, man. Babyface. I like him. Um, he throw a lot of punches, but I don't see that much power from him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I know y'all remember the fight between Adam Kalanaki and uh, uh, Chris Ariola. That was a good fight, man. Um, Action pack the whole fight. I don't think Adam Kalanaki can beat Louis Ortiz, man. I don't think Adam Kalanaki, Chris Ariola, and I want to see some of them niggas get in the ring with Louis Ortiz. Like, it seems like nobody want to fight this dude, bro. <laughs> nobody can beat him in my eyes. I don't even think Andy Ruiz can beat him. And I think they, I think they should fight Andy Ruiz. And um, I mean, after they unify with Wilder, after Andy Ruiz, if Andy Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua, right? I feel like whoever win after Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz fight supposed to fight Wilder, and the loser should fight Luis Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Anthony Joshua can fuck with Luis Ortiz. I don't think Andy Ruiz can fuck with Luis Ortiz. I don't think nobody else can beat him, bro. But Wilder. But Wilder. I don't see nobody outboxing that dude at all. Because Wilder has some problems, man, because that dude... He a good southpaw, man. He know how to. He a good boxer for sure, man. Like top notch. Like he probably the best boxer, and I think he'll beat Tyson Fury ass too. I think Luis Ortiz can whoop Tyson Fury ass and probably knock him out. I think he can beat Andy Ruiz. He probably can beat all them dudes, man. But uh, the heavyweight division lit right now, man. It'd be even better if somebody fight Luis Ortiz with a name. Somebody else. Like I said, the loser, somebody, shit, the loser out of Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua. Somebody fight Luis Ortiz. I guarantee you they can't beat him. But, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about the fight, man. Who y'all think Luis Ortiz should fight, man? I think he need to fight somebody else with a name. Yeah, but y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'm out. Peace. I'll be right back. Um, with this Leo Santa Cruz video, because I seen every fight on the court Saturday night. But that's that, man. I'm out. Peace.